yellow just uh just got to the gym i didn't do a vlog on the way here because i was on the phone with my creator he filmed his first module i'm super hyped uh also he's in this other program for personal trainers and there are a bunch of templates that he can use and he can just drop those in our community so that'll be super fire and super valuable um and it looks like we're on track to launch tomorrow so i'm i'm absolutely hyped and i think i think since we're launching tomorrow i just need to be patient like i i think i i just need to put all my focus on carl to be honest I need to put all my focus on carl scale him to 10k and then in the background i'll just be continuing to learn just continuing to read continuing to post content and just get better and if if carl because honestly carl's just like a a little <laughs> a newborn child who's just absorbing information extremely quickly so so like even though right now he he's like inexperienced i can tell that he's gonna be growing super quickly and getting better so i'm gonna continue to work on that and uh old man just gave me a weird look <laughs> um and yeah so so I'm, I'm just gonna put all my folks on carl if if i want to get another creator i'll scale him to 10k and sign a different creator if i'm gonna stay working with him then i'll just stay working with him and like i'm i, I just need to exercise patience and and figure out what to do in the meantime but yeah i'm i'm super hyped today i am gonna i like i actually have some work to do now for the community so that's exciting so yeah i'm gonna do that go hit the gym and uh get cooking also today there's this christmas event in my community and there's a chance that i might win a plane ticket to go shoot content link up with brady and eddie which would be hype but yeah gonna go hit this pull day Yo, what's good? Just hit a fire pull day. My back and biceps are absolutely fried. Gonna go home, munch, and uh, get to work. I actually have some shit for my community to do today, so I'm hyped that I finally have some fucking work to do. And I'm not just like in a car waiting queue. Um, I am almost home. I was just listening to this video that my friend Ben made. He's he's recording similar videos to what I'm making right now, but he's not posting publicly. I'm gonna try and, uh, let's see, topic of the day, topic of the day, let's see. Um, 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 topic of the day. Let's talk about creativity. Topic of the day is creativity. What is creativity? I actually don't have a definition for it. Um, I think there there are two types of creativity. There is synthetic creativity, and there is uh, what's the other one called? Like imaginative creativity, where uh, or like synthetic imagination, and I I don't remember what they're called basically two types of creativity one is where it, synthetic is like more more normal more like conventional creativity where it's like you are given x amount of information and you come up with y unique thought process based on that information okay so so it's like if you're if you're trying to solve some project, you're trying to solve a problem, and then you think of a solution to that problem based on information that you've received at some point in your life, that is synthetic imagination or synthetic creativity. Everyone has that to some extent. School kind of kills that, to be honest. But everyone was born with a strong imagination, and over time, they they fit into the cookie cutter system and lose some of that imagination but everyone to some extent has synthetic imagination now next 
is creative imagination. I think that's what it's called, is creative, ima creative imagination, which is where you, I'm getting some of this from Think and Grow Rich, but really resonated with me. So creative imagination is like, is where you're connected to infinite intelligence. Now I've experienced some of this before when I'm uh, drunk or high or on shrooms or channeling sexual energy or anything of that nature where something something just comes to you an idea just comes to you from nowhere for like no no uh knowledge that you have inputted into your brain at any point in the past sparks it like that it just came from thin air like all of a sudden you just had this idea and you're like where the fuck did that come from and it's incredibly unique to you like no one else could have this idea and it's it's rare it's rare it doesn't happen to to a lot of people and it normally happens for great inventors like thomas edison um who is like yo what if we make a light bulb like <laughs> homie homie tried like ten thousand different things he he just like tried a bunch of shit that was based on like zero information like electricity didn't exist radios didn't exist and homie just created shit out of nowhere out of thin air now that is creative imagination now how do you foster that uh, a lot of it comes from lack of judgment of self and lack of self-restraint the more you filter yourself and, and the more you try to conform to the ideals of others the less of that creative imagination you have which i mean i don't know about you i'd prefer to have some creative imagination it's not necessary it's not necessary. Ow. <laughs> my ceiling's so low, bro. I just hit my head. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so ready to move out, bro. Look at this. This is my bedroom. It's my bedroom right here. I have to duck every time I go in. Like, I'm not on my tippy toes right now. I'm just standing. And then, boom, now I can stand. Okay. But... I don't know about you, I would prefer to have some creative imagination because it's fucking cool. Creating things is fun. I think that's what humans are meant to do is we're meant to create things. We're not meant to ask and take and steal. Um, and the more you have to create, the more abundant your life's going to be. So, so channel your energy into creation and, and think. And don't just think, but act upon your thoughts. And don't put any restraints on your thoughts or actions. Unless it's like, like you have a creative idea to go murder someone, then maybe you should put some restraints on that. But <laughs> for the most part, I think we as humans are, are scared of our own imagination. And we, we need to let it run free because all the most brilliant inventions come from that all the, the greatest advancements in humankind like bro we used to just be monkeys with thoughts that would go like hunt and kill animals and and just like chill and then we fucking learned how to create fire by smacking rocks against each other and creating this thing that creates warmth and eats other shit that we can use to cook food and create energy and then from there <laughs> We just fucking created Bluetooth headphones and Wi-Fi and like I, I have no fucking idea how radio waves work or how how like any of modern technology works, but we and not many people do, but we just have this shit. And it's crazy. Like it, it all came from creative imagination. So so try and try and exercise some creative imagination. Yeah. I have been on a fucking grind today. I, look at this, look at this. I finished 
the presentation for my group looks fire. I cooked up two modules for my creator, did some planning with my creator, had a call today, won a plane flight to, uh, won a flight to Chicago to shoot content with Brady and Eddie and a link up with my boy Justin from Singapore. And I've just been cooking all day, but I gotta, I gotta go to bed soon because I gotta get up early. I have an epic showdown. I'm absolutely crushing my brother in some tennis tomorrow morning. So, nighty night.